wild. So we agree on that, do we? Animals shouldn't be taken from the wild. With a, uh, with a sound justification, yes. I can't see that, that, um, how that argument works. A lot of the public think that zoos, they return animals to the wild, they um, are protecting animals for the future and they're funding conservation. And while they all do do some of that, most of the animals in captivity are not endangered. So to me, I still think zoos are a commercial, primarily commercial thing. And I do think they should be phased out. Now, zoos do provide an enormous amount of educational material for the public. And whilst you're right that the, most, the majority of zoo animals aren't endangered, that's not to say that won't change in the future. I, I'm not saying that animals should be taken from the wild, but I'm saying that the wild... So we agree on that, do we? Animals shouldn't be taken from the wild. No, I'm not saying from that that we should just take all animals from the wild, so I no, misworded no, no, no. that. Like, you know, there is an but argument for supplying things... Supplying zoos from the wild. With a, uh, with a sound justification, yes. For elephants to be rid in Thailand, they have to be captive elephants. And I don't think there's any excuse for an elephant to be captive. Having had some extensive dialogue with people who work with elephants in Thailand, I'm not convinced that there is any detriment to it, providing the training is carried out in a uh, humane manner. We've seen, we've probably all seen the horrible training videos. Well we, well, we have, yes, but then there are perfectly conscientious animal trainers who work with elephants and Asian elephants have been handled in this way for millennia. There is an argument made by some biologists that they actually should be classified as semi-domesticated. I have seen the training videos and they are horrific. I'm not saying everyone trains their elephants like that, but that to me there's just no place for captive elephants. I see that one coming. Yep. Humans are still a part of nature. If that's wrong, why is it not wrong for a lion, a, uh, a bird of prey, a shark, or any other predator to do what it has to in order to survive? I can't see that, that, um, how that argument works. Wild animals killing prey species in the wild is very different to human beings killing captive animals to eat for meat when we don't need to do that. I also think now, um, especially in, in our society, the needs that we have, we don't have to have meat to do that. It does, but I don't think it should happen. I think there are alternatives now that need to be invested in. Again, a lot, a lot of these arguments for me personally just come back to the welfare of the individual animal. Just speaking from my own experience, I'm able to still walk because of animal testing. I, I could say that I owe my life to medical research and I agree with you that there are alternatives which should be explored. The incident that sticks in my mind, I believe it was penguins and I believe it was one of David Attenborough's mm -hmm. Recent pieces, the penguins fell down a, uh, a oh, crevasse yeah. and the crew intervened and they faced some criticism for it. Examples like that, I think, like, you know, that is a perfectly legitimate behaviour. I think if you've got the opportunity and the, and the ability and you, you can help them, then yes. My life revolves around the care of my animals and I am driven by my passion for keeping and working with animals. It's generated so much positivity in my life and then also the use of them as therapists and service animals, I don't think that can be disputed. Definitely, strongly agree. It's been, it's been proven many times that they can reduce stress. A lonely person who's got a dog, um, that can be their only link. The, the mental well-being of people, I don't think can be underestimated.
not the most strong agreement. Oh. Come on, I'm oh. buying. <laughs> okay then. Very good. Thank you for agreeing to stay with me. Yeah. Cheers.